initial pod of the band, I guess? Yeah, we are. So. We were yeah. and we are. But there are more guys, but you know. We started out, we were actually sitting in Ollie's car on the beach, uh, dreaming about what we want to do, what we want to do with our lives and you know, whatever, what we want to do with the band. And uh, so basically we had this pad that we wrote stuff down and I still have that paper somewhere and it reads that, yeah, we want to do an album and uh, get gigs and then in three years Hollywood will know our names. <laughs> and so, well, that all happened kind of fast and now we're here, so. So, but, but where, where does the dream come from during that time? Did you have a musical background in, in your families or were you just um, seeing all the huge stars on, on, on screen? What, what was the initial point for I think bands? Uh, we've both been playing in bands for, for many, many years. We had a band before this one where we actually met and sort of uh, got to know each other and realized that we worked well together, that we could write music really well together, and uh, we just uh, split the other band and decided to form our own because the one that we were playing previously wasn't re it was more like a let's have a party kind of thing, not so much involved with music after all. So, but uh, personally, I've been singing everything since I was three years old. I picked up um, a screwdriver from the floor and thought it was a microphone and started singing and there was a family reunion going on and it started from there basically and I think Ollie here started playing the guitar when he was like well the, I started with violin yeah. at the age of five but you know after uh, trying different instruments I ended up playing the guitar and uh, mm -hmm. that's how it went so what, what kind of songs were it to you in that time was it just like Finlandish <laughs> stuff or was it already some, some stuff from the radio? I think when we were kids we were just, uh, I was just singing whatever came to my mind. I don't know, you were probably playing Van Halen the first time <laughs> yeah. you picked up the guitar, yeah. so... So, yeah. I wasn't talented, he was. No, <laughs> I just no, loved no, no. singing. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, but yeah, then at some point, you know, we started getting records and, and stuff. Uh, I, radio never really... Yeah, radio was like something that I only heard later on. You know, we were listening to uh, the Finlandish kind of things from the radio when we were kids, but but uh, the records were actually the first things that I got something like a Dio album or something to be my first album, like The Last in Line, and, and I was like really hooked on that. And uh, after that, we started listening to all other 80s heavy metal stuff, and you know, that was where we started basically. Um, at, at what point of band history was it clear that, that you're going now to the big music market that you're going to be not only party as a party band so that you want to be a commercial band with commercial success and mm, well I guess we always wanted to uh, be a commercial success in a way because we wanted to be rock stars <laughs> but um you know we we had many bands and we tried out stuff and wrote some music, but when we got to uh, the point where we uh, formed Poets of the Fall and we had our first single, Late Goodbye, Late Goodbye, come out, that's the first time that we actually realized that something might actually come out of this, something really good, something big, and it did. So we were kind of lucky that way. Was it just a coincidence that you got uh, involved in this computer game, Max Payne 2? Well, it's, it was a happy coincidence. I mean, uh, we know the people who uh, work on that, uh, in that company, who uh, they developed the game and everything. And uh, we were sitting in a car with a friend of mine, Sam Lake, who's a scriptwriter for that company, for that game. And I was taking him home one night. Uh, we were just being out and, you know, having a good time or whatever. And uh, I told him that I have this new band it's called Poets of the Fall. And, uh, you know, if ever there's a time that we could probably do something together, you know, with your game and, and the band and stuff, like write music for you or whatever, then just let us know. And three weeks later, because I never thought he'd, you know, uh, ever, that nothing would ever happen. You know, he just go, goes like, oh, yeah, good idea, and then forgets about it. But no, three weeks later, he called me up and said, well, I actually uh, brought this idea to all the guys at work, and they said, it's a brilliant idea, so would you like to write a song? And uh, I wrote three songs for them, and they picked like goodbye because they liked that most, and it came out in the game, and that was uh, that was a huge start for us. Isn't, isn't it strange somehow that so many music now is coming through video games or commercial spots on, on television that you have to have somehow uh, a song being placed on, on the, that uh, channel? 
Um, I think the way I view it is the way that I look at it is really just that these are all equal different channels and, and ways of promoting yourself. And it's actually a good thing that there are so many different platforms that you can use. And, and uh, at, that, at that time when we were um, coming out with uh, Late Goodbye, it hadn't really been done before. So we we're pretty much almost the uh, first ones in the world to ever do it like that, you know. So I guess that got us kind of noticed in a way. But the first um, weeks, months, I don't know, years, I mean, you, you, you sold everything? Yeah, I did, yeah. So like your car, your big flat screen? No, there was no flat screen. Mm -hmm. screen flat there. screen, no, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I still had that box of a TV there in front of the window and I was happy to get rid of that. But but uh, yeah, I sold everything. Uh, my car gave up my flat, moved to my parents' basement, uh, which was kind of tough. And uh, I didn't, uh, well, I saw, I had a company then. I was uh, doing graphic design in uh, a company on my own. I sold my part of that company to to get the funding for the album and, and to live on it. And uh, uh, we worked for the album for about a year. And uh, just like four months before the album came out, we ran out of money completely. So that was uh, an interesting time. Like, mom, can I have a sandwich, please? I don't have any money. 